1974, Portugal was freed from a 48-year dictatorship. It was the Carnation Revolution. Since then, we have gone from an illiteracy rate of 33% to an average equal to the European Union's. We reduced the infant mortality rate from 55.5 per thousand children to 3.1, one of the lowest in Europe. We increased compulsory schooling by 50%, eradicated the slums, and went from an average life expectancy of 67.1 to 79.5 years. We did this in less than a generation and without a Marshall Plan. But yes, it's true, we have not done everything well. Sometimes we wasted money on unnecessary things. We have one of the best car fleets in Europe, of which 41.3% is German. We installed one of the largest electric car supply networks in Europe, supplied by a German company. But we are still waiting for Germany to sell us the electric cars. We spent billions of euros on two state-of-the-art submarines, German submarines. And in 2004, to accommodate the European Football Championship, we invested 675 million euros in stadiums, mostly built by construction consortia that included German companies. And every year, trade between the two countries results in a profit of 3 billion euros for Germany. Nevertheless, in the last year and a half, we cut salaries, pensions, social benefits, public bodies and Christmas and holiday bonuses in health, education and social security. We raised the prices of public services, the retirement age and the taxes applied on income, consumption, capital, public transport, homes and everything that moves. And we beat two records for the biggest spending cuts and the highest increase in taxes in the history of our democracy. But still it seems that some people think that we do not make enough of an effort, that we do not work enough and that we do not pay taxes, that we're always partying. Let us be clear, we work 38.9 hours a week, more than the Germans. The Portuguese work until the age of 67, much more than the Germans. But the Germans should know that we work hard. Just look at any one of the 150,000 Portuguese people living there. The Portuguese take 22 days of vacation per year, less than the Germans. We had 13 bank holidays. We abolished four and now have nine, less than the Germans. On average, the Portuguese earn 1,171 euros per month gross half of what the Germans earn. And we pay more taxes, much more taxes. There are only two countries in Europe that charge more than 50% of IRS to the wealthiest taxpayers, Germany and Portugal. What we have is a slightly different concept of wealth. Still, in Portugal, we have always seen the European project as a project of solidarity. And in the last 10 years, German exports have more than doubled. In the last 10 years, unemployment in Portugal more than tripled. Yet, when we take a stand, we take a stand the Portuguese way. In 1990, Germany unilaterally declared that its old debt had expired. The Portuguese did not challenge that. In 2005, Germany violated the limits of the deficit and the EU pardoned its sanctions. Not only did the Portuguese not challenge that, but even supported the decision. We knew it was not fair to ask the German people to work even more, pay more taxes, lower wages and cut pensions. The Portuguese have always viewed the European project as a solidarity project. Tear down this wall. And we are sure that the Germans have too. In Europe, the Berlin Wall ended in 1989.